Because I remember uh, the gap in Pama and Resident while I was living in Skandari. Then they offered me also the job to teach at the university. Because one of the miraculous things which happened when I joined, uh, when I came to Skandari. Uh, one of the important issues which I'm also connecting to what I'm supposed to share today. Because it's important that I, I give a proper background before I share what I have to share. Uh, I laid in my heart to please God. I laid in my heart to please God. Because I believe. Because I believe. Uh, everything we are doing here on earth. It's very short while. It's just a preparation for the everlasting life. And so, what the devil will always try to do in our lives is to try to make this life here as a big and important thing. And trade our souls to the things which pass. So I made a commitment in my heart. When I was I think by that time when I was young, very young boy, okay. I looked around the world and I was seeing, God was helping me to see that there's something more beyond this life we live. And I was looking the way people are living. And some of the people were, 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 whom I was observing, they're also saying that they, they are people of God. But the way I was looking at their lives, they're not reflecting the testimony that I expected. And so I prayed to God. I said, God, I just want to please you in this life. And everything I do, let me be real to you. Let me be real. Watch a minute, you will have a problem. I don't want to live a hypocrisy life. But I want to live a true and perfect life of salvation. And when I was starting to bring that honesty in my heart, God opened the door for me. Understanding later how that works. God watches your desire. He knows by your strength you are not. Because there are many forces in your Seeking to take over your life. Seeking to destroy you. 
Zina tafuta kuharibu wa to have the confidence. Lakini tuna uhakika that when you are in him, kwamba unapokuwa ndani yake and he in you, naye ndani yako nothing can conquer. Hakuna kinaweza kukushinda. You become in charge of life itself. Unakuwa katika una yani unakuwa na wajibu wa maisha yako mwenyewe. So when I started having a desire to know him, wakati nianza kuwa na hii kiu ya kujua, he didn't only get me to know him, akunipa pekee kumjua, but he also gave me an excellent spirit. Lakini akanipa pia ubora wa wa vitu wa hali. He made me to be light. Akanifanya kuwa mwanga na yeye kumuonesha kumtambulisha ndani yako wakati nianza masomo yangu ya chuo ya udaktari nilikuwa nikiangalia mazingira naona huku na kule sehemu gani ningenda kanisani kwa It was actually was the passion in my heart. Kwa nilikuja nilikuja na passion na na nilikuja nilikuja na nani na na bidi yani iko nini? Na kiu ndani yangu ndio. And so I I I was looking around and I asked God. Alafu nilikuwa nikiangalia huko na huko because many of my colleagues who came with me. Wale ambao waliokuja na mimi they decided to resemble the environment they met. But I know what I had committed to. But I know what I had committed to. But I know what I had committed to. So I asked God, just, just help me to understand. How can I serve you in this new environment? Miraculously. Well, okay. So, uh, the God passed one day. She, she was from the, the church of Adeboy. I think you know Adeboy from Nigeria. So this lady opened a branch there. And I was, you know, I didn't know what God was doing, uh, but you know, after some time, uh, God led me to join him. And so when I joined I became the assistant pastor of the church. And then from that time, I remember the time of serving them. Miracles upon miracles were happening in the lives of people. And God used me in a way that I couldn't really explain. Na, na Bwana kanitumia kwa njia zisingeeleza to pass the life kuongoza maisha za watu. And so I spend much of my time niwekea niwekeza muda wangu mwingi focusing for the timetables of the kingdom of God. Fikiria namna ya kutumikia mfano wa Mungu and not compromising with other timetables. Na hii si kusema nina nina ninaangalia vibaya vile vitu vingine. So if I have to go to a region like that to go to to what to uh cash. Uh, yeah, kama nilikuwa nataka kwenda ku 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 Vietnam village, yani mama kesha ya usiku, bana we always make an assumption here on earth. Na sio wote tunaweka that when we use time to do things of God, 
wakati tuna tumia muda kufanya muda kufanya mambo ya Mungu the world is, is blinded us to think we are wasting time na wakati mwingine ulimwengu unatukofusha kusema tuna mtu kupoteza na hiyo ndiyo shirikazi ya shetani because every good thing wani kila kitu chema proceeds from light yote inaendelea ni katika mwanga so when i was spending my good time to ensure the kingdom is taken wakati niliwekea muda muda wangu hapa kuhakikisha kwamba yani mazingira yani nina nina ninaweka kitu sawa we were we have been having a program uh, i was supposed to study in 3 years but uh, what god did to me was i managed to do the entire program in 3 years yeah yenyewe bwana nifanyia kwa miaka miwili yani mimi hiyo miaka miwili nikawa nimemaliza yani program yangu the next people who actually followed me later wengine ambao walinifuata nyuma wakati nilipomaliza baada ya miaka mitano sasa so god sent me again for more than three years bwana alinipatia tena miaka mitatu so just tell your neighbor i'm here i'm here there's nothing that you do in the kingdom that is wasted ambia ndugu yako kile unachofanyia mungu unachofanyia The book of first Peter. Yeah. Let's go to one of chapter 4. Let's go to one of sura ya 4. Verse 1. Let's go to one of sura ya 4. Mustari wa wa kwanza. First Peter chapter chapter 4 verse 1. Petro Tabuki ya Petro kwanza sura ya 4. The Bible the Bible says Mustari wa kwanza. Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, arm yourselves also with the same attitude. Because whoever suffers in the body is done with the sin. And as a matter of fact, Moja Petro is sure I can make. But say, what was Christ told? Aendeshwa katika mwili wake kwa ajili yetu. Mimi mjifike vile vile na nia ile kwa maana yeye aliyeteswa katika mwili ameachana na dhambi ama. So we see Jesus himself. Tunaona Yesu mwenyewe. Yeye desire anakuwa na kiu. That desire becomes the very protective work na hiyo kiu inakuwa inakuwa silaha ya ukimwi to accomplish his purpose so kufikia lengo lake now in this earthly life katika maisha hii ya ulimwengu wa kiroho the things we see or we experience kuna mambo yale tunayoyaona wala tunayoishi because we are living in the kingdom sababu tunaishi katika ufalme and they might be perceived as suffering na tunaweza tukaona tukaone yani mateso but in true sense lakini kwa namna nzuri it is the preparation for bigger good which we don't see yani tabu hiyo inakuwa inakuwa inatuandaa kwa mambo makubwa mbele ya Mungu ambao hatuoni let's take an example of sports acha tuangalie mfano ya mfano wa na mchezo I have been reading how top sports teams perform. Tunajua vile timu za za viwango vya juu zinafanya. And there are three things. Kuna mambo matatu which makes any team. Ambayo yanafanya kila team to perform on its best. Kufanya vizuri. There's no secret beyond the those three things. Hakuna siri nyuma ya hiyo. First, jambo la kwanza, they have to choose a particular proper attitude wana bashwa kuchagua kanuni fulani nzuri ya tabia which is related to the sports level ambayo inaelekea inaendana na hiyo mchezo unaofanya so for example they want they have they need to be to, to 
do training. In the work of some of the top players, they work up around four years. I mean, for a year, you must think it's a torture. And then they have to train maybe in a series of hours, maybe about three, four hours. And they are not supposed to eat particular food. And they, need, they, they, they have to stick on, on shepherds. Dispute. So there's an attitude they choose. And then they put a discipline on that. And then they have to focus. Now, one of the now, that by itself, in an ordinary standard, it might be feel, feeling as a torture. But at the end, they are working for a glory. A particular glory that perishes. Maybe they were winning in Champions League. Winning an Olympic. That's why Paul said. We have Paul said. There is a race provided before us. And there is a trophy set before us. Now, if these people who are pursuing the ethnic trophies, come on, come on, how need to be structured and disciplined in this way. How much more? How much more? About this glorious trophy of entering in the kingdom as winners. And the book of Revelation says, uh, by two things. By the word of their testimony. And what is the second? By the blood, right? The blood of the Lamb. In the word of the testimony. Two things. What is the blood doing? It works on the consciousness of the sins. So it deals with the, our sanctification. And what is the word of testimony is doing? is to press ahead with the victorious life. And so every day we are facing two things in our journey to the kingdom. Number one is to be with the accusations of the enemy. Reminds us about our guilty things we did yesterday. We need to tell you there is a blood of the Lamb. He has overcame that for us. But we also have to tell you we have a testimony. We are pressing on testimony. Put the devil under his feet. Through our 
our life of faith. Now, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, if you read that verse 13 up to 14, the Bible talks of the weapons of our world. Now in all the, the weapons of the warfare the Bible talks about. Did you remember that? The belt of food. The breastplate of, uh, of, of righteousness. Our true life, first of all, we have life of one. We have we start with the truth, which is the life of integrity. Which does not allow enemy to have any kind of accusations. We live righteously, that means we do what the world is saying, that means we are in right, we see the righteous life. Right, that righteousness. The element of salvation. The redness of the gospel. Being ready to share our also the, the, the soul of the world. And the shield of heaven. Which quench all the guts of the enemy. The enemy tells you you cannot, you fail, and you use your faith and understanding from the way they say you have lost it. 2,000 years ago. Now, so, if you read that place, you see, after having all this work, and, 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 and just arm them up, na kuziba. He said an important thing which we need to pay attention. He says, with all perseverance and supplication. So, with all this kind of conflict where, why do we have to persevere? If you have all these arms around you, now, we need to understand there is something much more deeper in the life of a believer. Of which we need to learn from the attitude of Christ Himself. Now, Jesus managed to overcome all the temptations. But all the temptations he overcame were coming to him. But there was one woman in his life when he had to, to meet with the real and it was his own flesh. 